hello scorpio hi welcome back to my channel i hope you all have been doing well all right scorpio so we're gonna get you some full moon and aries messages okay we're gonna see what the message is hidden for for you when you see it is when you're meant to see it um if you need to refer back to it later please do you are encouraged to but i do also encourage you to go watch your other placements okay to see what messages you have there all right, these messages will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Roles and genders can be reversed, flipped, however it fits, okay? Take it how it resonates, okay, to you and your life, all right? But we're going to go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, welcome. I hope I can help. If, you're, if you've been around, thank you for the support. Let's go ahead and get into it, Scorpio. Get you some messages. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest high light who welcome me every day. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Please and thank you. Full Moon and Aries messages. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel these messages for Scorpio. Block any interference that stops their messages from coming through. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. All right, Scorpio, let's see. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Um, some of you could have Libra highly aspected or be dealing with one. Okay. Or you will be dealing with one. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have for Scorpio? New moon in Aries. Scorpio. Whoa, Scorpio. Calm down. Calm down. All right. Uh, wow. Uh, who? Who got that right? Uh, Sagittarius. All right. It says loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction. Let God in. All right. So somebody could be holding on to something too tightly. All right. And this says messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Sagittarius just got that. Maybe you have Sag Sagittarius in a prominent placement. Okay. Or in a certain house. All right. Some of you are messengers. All right. But maybe you have messages in the Sagittarius reading. And you know what? They were getting that energy. Be bold to make the first move. And that's actually, did I title that reading that? Because I believe I did. They didn't get that card, though. But, I mean, pretty much what the messages were coming out. I mean, it's looking like, they, you know. Um, okay, no, the title of it is Checkmate. But, yeah, somebody's going to have to, somebody's going to have to make the first move. Yeah. Like, somebody waiting on something that's not going to happen. Yeah, they're gonna, you're going to have to, Scorpio. Or... This Sagittarius is going to have to make this first move or something like that. You put yourself where you go now. Don't be stressing me out. I'm just playing. <laughs> I've been ready to get back to reading. I just haven't. I mean, my team was like, chillax. You know, wait till the full moon. Just kick it, you know. What we got here for Scorpio? Um, rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. Oh, goodness. What's going on with you? Scorpio, I feel like you got a significant Sagittarius placement. Or it's in a certain house. But I just said that already. Anyway, I was just gonna say somebody may be, maybe you were, you had to repeat yourself or something is uh, uh, just uh, repetitive. Cause this is the second bloom, mm, a second chance. It's never too late. New possibilities. All right, yeah, they letting y'all know. They letting y'all know what's up. Okay, they said you're gonna probably be with that person. Okay, yeah, y'all broken up. It's cool. They said it's cool. It's cool. They said, don't worry about it. And But I think it's just more so somebody taking a sweet time <clears throat> or they waiting on you. They're waiting on you, Scorpio, to make a move or something like that. And you just not doing They're going to be waiting forever. You got to be for me. We got to be forever. Okay? And that's what it is. Like, <laughs> 
childish. You're childish. Okay, not you, Scorpio. Whoever this other person is. Yeah, so that's what it is. It's just kind of like somebody's just going to, you know, they're going to have to reach out, period. Look, Scorpio, you like, no, a new romantic cycle won't begin if they don't reach out. <laughs> okay. Look at that, Ace of Cups. <laughs> the number two is definitely significant. It's like somebody kind of debating or something like that. Or, you know, maybe, maybe you going back and forth on something. On if you even want love or not. Like, do I want love? You got the Empress right here. So, it looks like you good. Alright. You got the Six of Swords. Something could have something to do with the Libra who lives at a distance. Somebody could just feel like they in love. And maybe they didn't know what love was. Oh, Lord. Now, we starting to get sad. You got the Queen of Cups here with the Knight of Swords. It looked like somebody just hopped on the first train smoking or something like that. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have came for you. Somebody could have wanted this person. Whoever this person is. You got the King of Swords. Okay. So two people who don't match. And then somebody who is uh, who sits supreme over them. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it looks like you may have distanced yourself from this person. Scorpio. To, and you've been working hard. Doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, loving yourself. You got the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles here. And somebody just been out here just really thinking that they could slow poke around on whether they want to do the work or not. If they want to take the chance. If they want to love you for real. See, the, the, the problem is, it looks like here that somebody... Maybe you had a, a, maybe there maybe you had a little difficulty at some point in time on how you would give love to yourself. You know, maybe you'll work so hard and you would be so giving and gullible, won't save anything for yourself. Yeah, but the person who you were trying to link with was could be a little mean and hard, slow to give. Very stingy energy. That could be time, money, energy. Somebody just held back from you, giving you something you don't deserve. But you said above this person. So this has something to do with not being able to see yourself correctly. Like you've been this person. You've been this ascended person. But you tend to give your energy, time, and uh, attention to people who are beneath you. You know? But you, it's because you fair, though. Like, you see yourself as uh, equal to people. But sometimes you got to realize that you got to love you more. If you got to choose somebody, you chose. So that's what it is. You chose you. You chose Uno. That's what that is. And you was like, no. And you sailed away from the situation. You far away from this. Mm-hmm. Somebody didn't choose you. Or you weren't finna let nobody juggle you. You like, before you juggle me, I promise you I'm up out of here. Before you be wishy-washy with me, I promise you I'm up out of here. Uh-uh. This person was intimidated. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Then they had their little hater, girlfriend or boyfriend beside them. To make them feel important. This third party. Make them feel... You know, stroke their ego. You know, you're the best thing since sliced bread. Whoever this person is, child, get gone. Okay. Some guy has something to do with somebody who has Sagittarius in a prominent placement, like I said. Okay. Yes. It looks like this person may watch you. They creep on you. They, they, they in the bushes right now. Look. Is that Scorpio? Oh, wait, they can see me. <laughs> Look, they don't let me listen. They don't let me come to the reading this day and I read this today and I don't know how to act. What? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's all this is. I mean, it was a hater, a th hating third party. Whoop de doo. Okay. With this Queen of Cups and this moon card being here. Could be a cancel for some of y'all. But I don't know. That just what it say. I mean, I don't know. Now they in their feelings. Somebody in their feelings. I'm telling you, like this person just was hating. And this per the, the, the crazy thing about it is the third party knew who you were. So, you know, it, they like, wait a minute. Let me get my illusion ready. I got to break this up. <laughs> People 
beautiful flame. I love humans. I love it. It's hilarious. So maybe this person had a chick. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is here. This person could have had a chick. So they were able to, you know, easily sway somebody, blah, blah, blah. Or they had a good idea. The illusion was given. The illusion was abundant. Okay. It was abundant. It was giving. All right. But, I mean, uh, but it looks like you were hidden in plain sight. Okay. For this person. Look at that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this person, this other person knew. They knew. They knew they weren't you. They knew they weren't you. They knew they, they knew you sat above them. That's why they getting this karma. Mm -hmm. The Empress. They knew. Look at this. The hangman. And you're enlightened, man. Get out of here. Somebody could have Pisces highly aspected. So you could have Libra and Pisces highly aspected. Somebody prayerful. Man, who? Uh, somebody is a powerful manifester too. A messenger? You are a messenger. And that's why they don't like you. They like, man, this person is so, oh my God. They knew you knew how to use all the tools in your toolbox. So you just learned how to. Somebody, somebody, um, somebody too, they like, I ain't got to do. Some people, that's another thing, Scorpio. Some people don't have to do no work and all that, no spell work and all that. Now, this other person could have, okay, to try to lay you out, sit you down, hang you up, or whatever, whatever. I'm pretty sure you've already got the the uh, the message on that. But somebody here, their prayers are powerful. That's their magic. They talk to the most high, period. Okay. Um, let me get one on the moon. Mm -hmm. Do your thug feels a Scorpio. <laughs> the moon, please. Why is the moon here for Scorpio? I mean, we know why it's here, but can you confirm why the moon is here? Mm, 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 mm. It's like somebody always need confirmation. Like, but why? But why? But why? But why? Because. Dang. The moon for Scorpio. This other person. Ooh, they such a hater. It's not. Don't look good on you. <sighs> like I said, we didn't need to know why the moon was there. We just wanted to get confirmation. <laughs> Binding. Binding work. Spell work. Something to try to make you lose your mind or lay you out. Or this person can't stand you because you're the real magician. But they think this somebody. I'm just going to talk for personal experience today. Who I dropped a little nugget in? Somebody reading. Anyway, I think it was Capricorns or something. But somebody here could have thought that because you are supreme and you are enlightened. Like, how does Scorpio know that? Even though you Scorpio. So forget the fact that you a Scorpio. Somebody could actually have like a, a Scorpio moon but or Pisces moon. Oh, man. Just water on the moon. Period. But whoever this cancer is, okay, could have a little issue. You know, it might maybe they overly sensitive. I mean, or something. But this person could have thought just because you sit in a, uh, you so enlightened, or you so maybe you make something look easy. Maybe you like the coolest empress they ever seen, or maybe you like, you know, what I'm saying I don't know. It's something about you that intimidates this person and makes this person not like you, like. You know, they feel defeated. They feel they feel beneath you. So they want to bring you down to their level. But this person could have thought, oh, well, spell. I mean, um, Scorpio must do spell work, too, because Scorpio is uh, they they spiritual like or they they may be a spirit medium or something like that. Or they burn sage or whatever, whatever the case and incense. So they must be into uh, witchcraft. This person right here into witchcraft, though. They into uh, roots and the only way they have their way is by doing work to get it. When you just pray, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Let me get one on the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. Mm. Don't feel bad, Scorpio. It's happened to me before. Years ago. Years ago. Uh, Ace of Cups, please. People think you up to no good just because you're really that awesome. Like, for real. Ace of Cups. 
And so this person wanted to hop and leap and jump and skip and I want to be Scorpio. Yeah. Man, who is this person? Let me get one on the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Listen, you got the Knight of Cups. I mean, the Knight of Swords, the, the Moon, the Seven of Swords, and the Dev card. Dang, man. Yo, what this person do? Yo, this person crying. They in spiritual jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They came for you. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, can I speak to Scorpio? Oh, that was the Pisces reading. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that's what it look. It looks like somebody came for you, Scorpio. You know, and they tried to play with a little, probably even H-E-X'd you. Okay. And, and now they sit here crying because they know, this person knows, like, I don't know. This person may not. Maybe somebody may. Somebody may. I don't even want to say that. Just know it's great with great emotion. Just imagine that. Like it's like a, a post. Or something like that. Or I'm really getting like eulogy type of. Uh, yeah. But this person. Basically, somebody tried to bind one of God's chosen. Mm -hmm. All over another person that they don't even match. The Queen of Cups and the King of Swords don't even go together. I'm just saying. Like, what? You can go watch the Pisces reading, though. And the Libra. I haven't done cancer yet. You can go watch Sagittarius as well. It's just it shouldn't be that much. It shouldn't be that much hate in somebody's heart. Like they overplayed it. They overplayed their hand. Now they scared and nervous and stuff like that. Or they were, or they will be, or something. I don't know. Past, present, future. Lavender. Surround yourself with love. Who got this? Number. No, uh. Who would I do before Sagittarius and Capricorn? Yep. Somebody can have Capricorn highly aspected. Um, the number 19 reduced down to the number 10 and reduced down to the number 1. Maybe that could be uh, significant for some of you. So something you can go watch the Capricorn reading as well. And then this is Tower. Unpl unplug and relax for a spell. All right. The number 3. Definitely some spell work used here, like I said. Mm-hmm. But you, Scorpio, you can unplug and relax. Whatever they wanted for you, it's just... No, God said no, absolutely not. What are you, talk what are you talking about? This person is a messenger. This person is a soldier in my army. The army of the Lord. Why on earth do you think you can do this? The number three is definitely significant, significant though. So the number one and the number three, it says, make no judgments, look forward. So make sure you continue to not judge people, Scorpio. I don't know. So this could be a warning for some people. Please be mindful on how you judge because this person getting this just because they judge. You're not supposed to judge anyway. But what happened was you put your, your harsh judgment or whatever you thought on one that that walks real close with the most high like this. That was your issue. So now this is this is the most high making an example. Look forward. Basically, you know what that's telling me? You need to watch where you going. Watch where you going. Mind your business. You turn around high, you walking forward, but looking behind you, you're gonna run right into a pole. I mean, come on. This says reevaluate your priorities. I forgot who got I think it was uh Capricorn too. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, Scorpio.